Hey guys, uh, today we are going to discuss the conditions of the subcontinent which led to the establishment of All India Muslim League. You know that All India Muslim League uh, was an important political player in British India and it 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 was because of the efforts of All India Muslim League that India was divided in 19, uh, 1947 and this political party hate or this political party uh, had contributed or this political party did so much that shaped the future of India or that shaped the political course of India. And you know that this political party was established for uh, the representation of Indian Muslims. This is particularly associated with the Muslim nationalism in India. And if we will see in the background of uh, the establishment of Politi um, All India Muslim League, that is the conditions before 1906, there were already political parties that were existing in India. Perhaps the major political party was the Indian National Congress, which was established in 1885. And there were small or minor political parties already present in India. But what were the conditions? Uh, that led to the establishment of All India Muslim League, although there were political parties which were already existing in India, why Muslims of India didn't use other platforms for their representation instead of making a separate political party? And you know that the establishment of any political party is not a spontaneous event. It didn't happen that on um, any uh, morning uh, the political parties wake up or the political some political leaders wake up and say let's make a political party and they make a political party it's not this simple it's not that much simple rather there are number of events in establishment of any political party same is the case with all india muslim league so let's see what were the conditions that led to the establishment of All India Muslim League in 1906? The first reason for the establishment of All India Muslim League is, I think, that is the attitude of the Congress. Its inception, it was dominated by Hindu extremists. When All India Congress was established in 1885, it was meant for all communities in India. It was saying that they are representing all communities of India and it's not meant for any uh, any single religious community or linguistic group. It was made for all Indians, but it didn't prove to be the representative of all Indians. It was dominated by Hindu extremists and it was working for Hindu interest only and they marginalized Muslims, they prosecuted Muslims, which became responsible for the establishment of a separate political party, which later on uh, divide India into two different countries. Next reason, I think, is the educational, political, social, and economic backwardness of Muslims. You know that after 1857, the Muslims were deprived of their educational, political, and socio-economic rights. They were deprived in education, politics, social, and economic fields. Uh, especially after 1857, British were considering Muslims responsible for the revolt and they were trying to uh, dent Muslims so that they could not rise again. So this became responsible for the backwardness of Muslims. When the Muslim leaders felt that they are backward, they are backward educationally, politically, socially, and economically, they thought that if we want to revive, want a revival in education, politics, social, and economic fields, we need a platform. We should have our own separate platform that we will use for the promotion of education and other sectors in Muslims that uh, we will use to provide services to Muslims so that they could gain education and they could become politically and economically strong. So 
This was the reason for establishing a separate political party. And the Hindi Urdu controversy or Urdu Hindi controversy, this was a linguistic clash that took place in 1867. This was a this was basically a linguistic clash, but later on it uh, it turned into a communal clash or you can say a religious clash, because this clash was between Hindus and Muslims. Uh, Muslims were associating themselves with Urdu, while Hindu uh, Hindus were associating themselves with Hindi. Although Urdu is not the religious language of Muslims, uh, however, this language Urdu was flourished during Muslim rule in India. So, uh, on that point, uh, the Indians, and especially the Hindus, were uh, saying that the Urdu is the language of Muslims, and they were trying to remove Urdu or replace Urdu with Hindi. Although number of Hindus uh, scholars also contributed for the promotion of Urdu language, but the Hindus and especially the extremist Hindus were considering uh, Urdu as their enemy and they were not ready to accept Urdu. This brings a, or this shows a fault line which was already present or the uh, clash or the uh, the clash, uh, the communal clash between Hindus and Muslims which also become responsible for the establishment of a separate political party. And to save Muslim entity from anti-Muslim movements, uh, it was important to have their own platform. Number of uh, anti-Muslim movements were launched by Hindus like Shundi movement, Shangatan movement. These movements were launched to crush the Muslim identity or the Muslim entity. And in order to protect the Muslim entity, in order to protect the cultural heritage of Muslims, it was important that Muslims must have their own separate platform. Because without their own platform, they would not be able to protect the Muslim entity. And the Bengal was partitioned in 1905. We do have a separate lecture on the partition of Bengal as well. If you want to know more about that, please do subscribe to our channel and visit that lecture as well. Uh, at this point, I will just tell you that in 1905, Bengal was divided. Bengal was divided into two provinces, the East Bengal and West Bengal. This division gave Muslims a favor. Although this division was an administrative decision, but this decision gave a favor to Muslims because the United Bengal was Hindu majority province. But after division, the East Bengal became a Muslim majority province. In this way, they got a separate a majority province. Now, uh, the, uh, this division has two aspects. One. The Muslims got a, sep a separate a majority province and if they want their own rule there, they need their own political party. The other thing is that this division although had not suffered Muslims or had no harm to Congress, but Congress reacted to this division and, and protest against this division. So this also shows that the Congress was not working for the interests of Muslims. And the success of Shimla delegation encouraged Muslims in demanding their rights. Uh, Shimla delegation was a delegation of 35 leading Muslims led by Aga Khan. They met Viceroy at Shimla and they put forward uh, certain demands which were there to protect Muslim rights. For example, they demanded for separate electorate, they demanded for an establishment of a Muslim university, and they demanded for appointments of Muslim judges. And now this, uh, the demand of separate electorate especially was, uh, 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 let me clear, make it clear that the Viceroy had made uh, clear and he had said that uh, he would try to implement their demands and he will try to grant their demands soon and now if 
uh, the British government had granted separate electorates and Muslims had no political party, then it would not be possible for Muslims to gain benefit from that demand, uh, from, from that uh, decision or gain from separate electorates. So in order to gain from separate electorates, Muslims need a political party. So this was also responsible for the establishment of All India Muslim League. Hence, on December 1906, the annual session of Mohammedan Educational Conference was held in Dhaka. And in that conference, um, uh, the delegates who were present in that conference decided to establish a separate political party for Muslims. Hence, uh, this uh, demand was accepted by the all delegates and they were supporting that. So, the All India Muslim League was established and Saga Khan was elected as its first president and Majid Belgrami was elected as its first general secretary. Now, aims and objectives of All India Muslim League. The first aim was to safeguard and protect the interests of Indian Muslims by conveying their demands to government in peaceful manner and constitutional way. So this was the first aim of the All India Muslim League that was to protect and safeguard Muslim interests or the interests of Indian Muslims and to convey uh, the Muslim demands to government in a constitutional way, in a proper way or in a way that is, uh, that is suited in any democratic society. Next was to create feelings of respect and goodwill for government among us Muslims and to remove the misunderstandings regarding government policies and actions. Since this uh, the second aim of All India Muslim League was to uh, bridge the gap between Indian Muslims and the government because uh, there was a huge gap between Indian Muslims and government. They were not close to each other. And it was the objective of All India Muslim League to remove that gap and to bridge uh, some relations between Indian Muslims and government. And the third uh, objective was to create feelings of brotherhood between Muslims and other Indian communities. You know that Muslims and other communities were not having good relations. There were hostilities between Muslims and Hindus and other communities. And it was the objective of All India Muslim League to uh, remove those hostilities and to bring some good relations with Muslims and other communities because it's very much important for the development of a community or a nation in general for uh, to have good relations between different communities so in this way when muslim league was established in 1906 it was a very liberal political party with the objectives of protecting muslim rights and conveying muslim demands and to create a feeling of respect between government and muslims and to create feeling of brotherhood between muslims and other communities Thank you for joining please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and put your suggestions thank you for joining take care goodbye